Hey creators, DaVinci Resolve is really versatile and you can do a lot of things with motion graphics and creating your own different infographics. I'm going to jump in those waters today creating a 3D infographic like this. So let's get started. I need a fusion composition. With that clip selected, hit Control D. Extend that up to 15 seconds and hit Change. I'm going to go right to the Fusion page. So I have a blank canvas here. So obviously with 3D text, we want to start with 3D text. We'll need a render. I'll go ahead and connect some of these things together. In this case, I want to put a 3D merge in there. I'm also going to want a camera and a light. I'll probably add a couple lights, but we'll start with one. So here's my 3D text. It's blank because there's nothing in here in this input box, and that's okay. So I'm going to use kind of a dummy node here. I'm going to use a background node, and right clicking on that node, select Edit Controls. This just gives us something to build out, kind of an equation that we're gonna use in our other nodes. So for this, we wanna go default zero, and we wanna make this an integer. It's okay if you don't. An integer is just a whole number, and so to keep it simple, we'll do integer for the range. I wanna go zero to 100, and same with allowed, zero to 100. I will use a slider control, angle control is fine, center point will be 50, and I'm going to leave the steps blank and let it do its own magic there. Hitting OK, what happens here is we get a new tab on this node, it's a user tab, so I created this control called new control, and I'm going to utilize that to animate the text in this 3D text node. So with that selected, I'm going to pin that to the inspector select the text 3d node so now i can see them both here is the background node my controls and here is the text i want to enter an expression use this little grabber here and connect it to that new control there so here's the new control we'll start at zero i'll animate it i'll go to 75 frames 75 here so it's just going to count up from 0 to 75 in 75 frames and if I take a look at the merge 3d you can see it's 75 there and it's going to count down from 0 to 75 within those frames which is really great text 3d I want some extrusion to make this 3d because the title of this video was 3d text not regular 2d text add a few subdivisions I'm not going to add any bevel. I'm fine there. I don't want to bevel the back. I'll keep my resources as low as possible. And in the renderer, I'm going to enact the lighting. And let's take a look here. Two windows here. I had that set wrong. Okay, so here's my 3D merge. And here's what my camera sees, which is nothing. So my camera is sitting right on top of the text. You can see it right there. So in this case, I'm gonna select the camera. I'm gonna use the transform tools. Otherwise I'm gonna be pulling this way back off the screen. And then I can pull this back to get it in the frame for now. I'm gonna set the, uh, the location a little bit later differently, but I'll start there. This spotlight you can see is also sitting right here. I'll use the transform controls on this node as well. To put some light on my subject in this case I do want to look at the 3d view of it pull this up and rotate this down just a little bit okay it's centered on that text I want to make some changes in the actual controls intensity is fine I want to decay this at a linear rate widen out my cone angle I'm going to change my text while I'm here so my text change it to like a dark blue now we can see that showing up a little bit yeah, that's good you go to shading here um, I want to turn the specular intensity down just a little bit so it's not quite so shiny 
I'm good with that. So that's looking pretty good. Turn down the spotlight just a little bit more. That's kind of my starting point. You can see we're already animating from zero to 75. So I have part of my work done. And at the end here, I'm gonna animate this camera around the 3D text just to show off. But for now, I wanna add some other elements to this. I wanna add a graphic to this to kind of show that percent to make it a real infographic. So I'm gonna use the shapes that are built into Resolve to do that. So I'll use them right up here. If you open this effects window, and scroll down to S and see these shapes. It's just easier to grab them here. You can search for them, but I find it easier just to grab them. So the ellipse is something that I wanna use. And with all shape tools, you have to render it to be able to see anything. So if we look in the left window, it's a whole shape. S ellipse, turn off the solid. Select some thickness. I'm gonna change the color to match that blue. And then for the length, I'm just gonna tie it basically to this new control. So you can do it a number of different ways. I can put an expression and connect it to that. Or I can just right click on this and connect it to but I'd still have to put an expression in there because it's a hundred and, and that's tenths. So I am gonna use the expression, connect it to the new control, and then divide it by 100. So now it'll work great. Make my edge sharp. I think that's looking quite nice, but it's not gonna show up on this screen yet because it's not a 3D element. So if I attach this to an image plane and then connect it into the 3D merge, got a mess here. It is gonna show up now, but what I want to do, pull it up here, just above there, going back to my camera, I can move this up a bit, kind of center it. And I'm not really happy with that thickness. So going back to the S ellipse, I can thicken up that kind of that border width, which is the thickness of that line. So that matches pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. And if I want to give it some depth, because I'm going to kind of rotate it around this text, uh, there's kind of a, there's not really an extrude shape but there is kind of a workaround for that. So if you select that, shift space bar, and I'll type in duplicate. Use this duplicate 3D. And let's make about 25 copies. And then I wanna go Z offset. Go negative 0.03, something like that. Okay, so we have some depth there. It's a little hard to see on this angle, but as I rotate around, you'll see it. So if I take this camera and we'll start animating the location. I'm gonna go beyond 75 up to like 100. The easiest way to animate the cameras is use the Merge 3D view. You can kind of see everything. So that's my starting point at zero. I want to go way over here. And you can see that thickness then of those rings right there in that view. So that'll just rotate my camera over time around that point there so we can see that side and give a little bit more depth to that. So just a different view. Like I said, you don't have to do this, but since I did call this 3D text, I want to show off that text. So we can use a lot of different shapes and bars, but using 3D text is a smart way to do it. 
then I just have a control that I created that I animated and use those numbers to basically tie into all the other properties that I want to animate to create these really great infographics. So I think that works really well. I've done this before in After Effects and I think it's really easier to do it in DaVinci Resolve. So take a moment to subscribe to the channel and tell me some good words if you like this kind of video and you want to see some more of it. Appreciate your time today, guys. Take care.